Alright, uh, Guinness. Um, I haven't actually been asked this question yet. Um, but I thought I'd just uh, show you guys a rundown of just all the camera equipment that I use uh, for making my edits. Uh, not the editing part, just filming um, and getting all the clips that I need uh, to make the edits that I make. Um, so, yeah. Alright guys, um, so starting off uh, with the actual camera itself, uh, I got the GoPro Hero 3, um, just the, the standard silver edition, um, take the lens off, um, yeah I love this, I, I love this thing, um, it does everything that I need it to do, you know, um, it's a great camera, it's portable, it's lightweight, um, good resolution on it. Um, the way, well, the setting that I film in mostly um, is 720, uh, 60 FPS. It just gets you a bit smoother, slow mo. Um, I just think it looks really nice. Just, yeah. The uh, memory card that I'm running is a SanDisk 32 gig. I can get it out. There you are. Just a standard sand sand disk, thirty two gig micro SD. Uh, nothing special. Um, so yeah, that's the camera. Um, moving on to the lens, uh, it's a bit cracked at the bottom there. You can see it's got a few fingerprints on it, but that's just from now. Um, this doesn't do anything really. It's uh, it just uh, filters out the UV light um, and just means that the light won't damage the lens. Um, doesn't change the lighting of the camera or the film or anything. And it nice smooth fit like that. The uh, the crack in it doesn't make a difference. You can't see it. It's right on the outside there. It's not even in the lens bit. So um, so yeah. Um, that came in a set with the cam kits, cam kits um, skeleton case. Uh, it's actually just a bit of plastic that goes around the outside of the GoPro itself. Um, allows you to get easy access to all of the buttons, like your uh, Wi-Fi button. Obviously, the one at the front is already there. Um, recording button, and then your outputs from. The uh, set um, simply clicks into place and just clicks around it. It's quite flexible. Nice tug fit, uh, snug fit, especially when the bolt is on the bottom. Um, as you can see, I kind of did like a little uh, DIY sticker job on mine. Um, if you've watched it before, you'll see um, that I did an unboxing for um, the Scooter Hut package that I got. and. There, some of the stickers that I used on there. It's a bit rough around the edges there, but yeah, it looks pretty sick. I like it. All right. Um, so this isn't really anything to do with the filming process, um, but this is the the case that I use uh, for the GoPro. Um, cam kicks kits again, I think. Um, same brand as the. Um, case on my GoPro. Um, stores everything. Oh yeah, the uh, the frame came with a little dust cap thing for the lens, so lens cover. Um, we got the vibra vibration reducer when I'm like doing uh, POV shots. Um, lint free cloth. There you go, cam kicks. There you go. Yeah. Um, I've got the waterproof back door. Uh, I don't know why it's in there because I don't really use that bit. Don't take it anywhere near water. So, um, then I've got the charging cable, uh, kind of standard thing. The only thing that really goes in here is uh, I don't even know where it's gone. Where is it? Um, just the pin. I think I'm using it now. Uh, just the pins, but they usually stay on the thing that I'm recording with. Uh, so that's that. The case, everything fits snug in there. Um, yeah. Uh, 
So this is my uh, stabilizer, camera stabilizer. Um, it doesn't really have a brand. Um, it's just on Amazon. Um, pretty cheap. I think it was like twelve ninety nine. Uh, free delivery as well, so it was alright. Um, does the job. It's great. A little uh, foam handle. Uh, it gets a little bit sweaty when I'm doing a lot of filming. Um, but it's, it's not that bad. Um, it's quite solid. It doesn't really bend much. It flexes a little bit, but when you're filming, you don't really notice that. Um, obviously, but it did come with an attachment um, for like lights and flashlight, flashlights and monitors and stuff, but haven't currently got any with them, so um, I am hoping to get a big beam light for filming in the dark though, which should be pretty fun. Um, what it comes with down here, uh, if just, oh, no, sorry. Um, is obviously the main pin. Let's take this off. Oops. So yeah, you got the main pin there. Um, the cool thing about this is it can be, I don't know whether it's like standard on other kind of uh, stabilizers, but you can put it onto a tripod, like that, and then use it like that so you don't have to actually take the camera off it at all. Um, yeah, I love this, I love this thing. It was, uh, it's great, I've used it a lot. I use it, it's probably the one thing that I use the most out of all of my filming stuff. It's just so, so easy to use, you know reliable hasn't broke or anything you know um, so yeah uh, that's that um Next up is a big ass tripod. Um, it's got my GoPro mount on the top, just because I don't have any other camera to film with. Um, yeah, this thing's a beast. It is. It's literally huge, as you can see. It's that big. Um, yeah, it works great. Um, I've used it in a few edits. Um, the I think the whole of my game of Scoop with Matt Oaks was filmed using this. Um, that's the brand. It's some. It's a German company. Uh, so, uh, Miranda, Miranda Titan. I don't know. Um, so the spirit level on there. Everything. It's quite tight on it because it hasn't really been used that much. I don't really use it because I can't take it anywhere because it's too big. Um, once I've got my own car, it'll, it'll uh, take it around and get some smoother shots with it. Um, yeah, um, that's that. Um, what I'm filming on at the moment is a cheap gorilla pod. Uh, take it off. Just that. It's got the GoPro mount on the top. Uh, it came with that. Um, it does everything. It, um, I think some of my Instagram stuff. Um, follow me on Instagram, Ethan underscore Jenko. Um, but yeah, so some of my Instagram stuff was filmed on this. Uh, put it around the railing at the end of the park. Um, so yeah, it's uh, pretty good. It does. Ooh, whoops. Does the job, holds the camera still. The only thing is, because it was so cheap, it's a little bit like it, it, it wobbles a little bit. But I paid, I think I paid a pound for it, so can't really complain. Uh, last up is my homemade camera slider. Quite, it works. Um, the only thing is with this is I can only use it with my GoPro. Haven't really made an attachment for a phone or anything uh, just yet. Um, basically, what it is 
is uh, two bits of, I think it's half inch pipe, I think it's 15 mil. Um, just cut in half. Um, at each end, there's an electrical box, uh, like back box for um, like light switches. Um, and inside there, I've got four Jubilee clips, two on each, uh, just to uh, spread it out and just make sure that it holds it in place. Um, I had to put some tape in and some stickers just to make it a bit fatter so it would stick in the hole at the end a bit easier. Um, and then on the bottom, it's got some little rubber feet just to stop the bolts on here from touching the floor. Uh, I haven't actually used this yet. Um, I did a demo and I never did anything with it. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's all my filming stuff at the moment. I'm filming using my phone as a, a flashlight kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching.